Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video here in Past Easter Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today is the return of Just the Tip. And this is Just the Tip for Fancy Star Online 2. The game is about to release in North America, so I've been playing from the Japanese servers, and I've got a cool tip for everybody to make use of because the game is free to play, but you can buy boosters in the store for real life money. And I want to help you avoid doing this, even though I, I support the game and I will be spending money myself. This is actually to kind of help the people who have limited budgets, don't want to actually spend massive amounts of money. But you can still get onto the competitive edge of actually building up your character really quickly, getting all the bonuses that you want, getting all the good drops you want. Because there's three objects that I want to show you how to get without spending a single penny. So um, let's go through the quick, I'll go through the objects fairly quickly. So the first one is rare drop rate, 250% boost. Your try boost, 100% which covers all three of these. Uh, your ASP boost and your Meseta boost. Meseta being the in-game currency, if you don't do the game already. So, um, excuse me, as I transition across to a better view of the game, you can see that I've transitioned down here in the corner. Look at it. So, uh, what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna walk you through the steps you require to essentially get these items. The first thing you're gonna do is attend the recycle shop. The recycle shop is actually in your main menu whenever you're actually using the game. But you can also come down here to this location inside the shopping area and actually go to the recycling shop directly. I'm doing this because this is actually easier for me to illustrate my point. So going into the recycle shop, one of the first options you have is EX cubes. EX cubes are uh, basically items that are made from de destroying extra items that you didn't need. So you actually take, a, particularly in this case, rarity 10 or level, or rarity 10 or 11 weapons, and you can turn them into EX cubes. The next item next to that is photon spheres. We're going to want to use these to actually make the purchase of the items that we need. So get yourself familiar with these two particular things. Photon spheres can use level 10 weapons. EX cubes can use level 10 and level 11 weapons. Now, by the time you're sitting playing at uh, level 60 or 70 in the game, which doesn't take long, believe me, especially with the uh, the help of other players. And believe me, give me a shout. I will happily help any time it comes down to it. But once you're actually getting to the point where you're getting a lot of these rare items, you'll have a massive surplus and you'll need to find a way to destroy them. So this is your best route. By going through and getting EX cubes or photon spheres, you can then take a look at Recycle Shop 2. Now, Recycle Shop 2 has another item that is actually important. Let's see if I can find it on here and bring it up for you. It is Blue Arcs Badges. Now, the Blue Arcs Badge is something that you actually use in another store, but just be aware that you actually use an item to get this. This is all stuff from the Recycle Store that you're going to need. Uh, in this particular case, you're using the My Room 3 Days item, which is essentially an item that you can get with EX Cubes, which is the previous currency that you saw there, that then can be converted into Blue uh, Arcs Badges, okay? So, we're going to leave the Recycle Store, and we're going to head up to the actual main stores up here. I'm going to show you what the costs for them are and where you actually get the items. So the, um, the tri boost, which I was referring to, the tri boost 100%, actually covers for 100% for your EXP, 100% for your Meseta in game currency, and 100% for your rare drop boost. And you can use these items in conjunction with each other. In fact, I'm just going to demonstrate that right now. So you can see on screen, I actually have a number of different item effects actually on, but the specific ones of interest are experience gain plus 75, rare drop rate boost plus 250, and try boost 100%. That's a 300%, 350% boost on rare drop rates. That's 175% boost on EXP, and 100% boost on Meseta. I actually usually use Meseta for plus 50% on top of that for 150%, but I don't have it on at this moment right now. So... We're going to take a wee look into the EX Cube Shop, and you can see in the EX Cube Shop you can actually purchase the My Room 3 Days item. It requires one X Cube for one of those, and you can trade in, I think it's three of these, for a Blue Arcs Badge. So the ratio you get for them is getting 33 for a full stack. Um, not that difficult to do. As you can see in the top right corner up there, you can see I've got about 981 EX Cubes, and that was just from... I used to have like 3,000, and I'd spent them a lot recently. You can also get fun 1000 tickets, which are also useful. This is actually for a completely separate thing. I might do a video about the fun scratchers at a later time. And then, of course, the item we came here for in the first place, the rare drop rate boost plus 250%, which requires six EX cubes to get. Now, you can see I could just buy 28 of those outright for 168. The reason why I can only buy 28 is because I already have an almost full stack in my pocket. Um, I can only buy up to 99 at any one time. I have 71 in my pocket. I went ahead and bought so many of these that I will never ever need to come back to this shop within reasonable time of me playing this game. 
So um, it's it's the ridiculous kind of like uh, Final Fantasy VII carry all the potions mentality that I carry whenever I play these games. So we're going to go and take a look at the store right next to us, which is the Photon Drop Store. Remember I said earlier on you need the Photon Spheres to build up for this one? You go into the, photons, uh, the Photon Drop Store, you can see Photon Spheres are here. You can actually get them from drops of other reasons, and you get Photon Drops, which are like a lower class version of that. And you can actually find yourself able to buy the experience gain plus 75%. You can buy plus 25% in stacks of five if you wanna, but um, why would you do that whenever you get three times that in a single item and you're only using the same amount of objects? Because they're all they're both for 30 minutes, so I don't know why you would buy the 25%. Um, I, I, I'm sure there's probably some deep tier knowledge that some like at far end players actually know why you would buy those, but plus 75% is what your preference would be. So you can obviously buy a full stack of those. I have those as well. So. We're going to go and take a look at the uh, Blue Arcs badges and show what you do with them uh, to get your Mercedes. So we're going to go back to the store we were previously at. Right next to the Recycle Store is the badge shop. Um, so exchange badges that we're looking for. Uh, the first section that's there is blue, yellow and orange. Uh, we come back down here and we're going to go to the bottom of the list to get this. So we go up past these. I can see that there is a Mesita gained plus 50% for one Blue Arcs badge. You can see that there's a number of other ones in here, things like the Tri Boost as well for a Blue Arcs badge. You could use that instead if you want to, um, but I personally think the Blue Arcs badge, because it's the only one that's unique to that badge, is the Mesita gained. It's worthwhile spending your Blue Arc badges on this. So, uh, yeah. I think that kind of covers all the basic tips. Um, sorry if this actually felt like a little bit of a longer video compared to what I normally do for my just the tips, but this had a lot of information that I had to go through all in one go. So um, yeah, I want to say thank you very much for actually checking out the video. If you if this was helpful to you, please share it around because um, I think it's one of those things where I'm seeing a lot of videos for PSO2 coming out that are generally uh, very good generic uh, build information and stuff, but this is kind of like useful stuff for getting you to the point where you can make use of all that information to actually like skill out your characters and make a badass uh, player of yourself. So yeah, check it out. Try boost 100%, rare drop rate 250s, and the Mesita 50% and your experience 75. All presented to you, easy to find and easy to grind. So thank you very much for watching. I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.